This is Garlene from the Kitchen Sink Shop, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the long tail cast on in knitting. This is one of the most commonly used um, cast ons that is fairly simple once you get the hang of it. So I like to start my cast on um, with a slip knot. So how you make a slip knot is you take your length of yarn and you take, um, you just sort of lay the yarn from the left over the yarn on the right so that you get like a little circle like that and then you pick up the top of the loop and you just sort of fold it over the yarn on the right and then you have a piece of yarn in the center here this is what you want to pick up and put onto your knitting needle to make your first stitch you want to tighten it up a little bit now, when you're tidy, tightening up stitches, um, when you're casting on, you should tighten it by pulling from both sides so, or horizontally. You don't want to tighten by pulling down. You tighten by pulling from side to side, um, but not too tight. It's important um, to leave some nice, easy tension when you are um, when you're casting on so that you, it's not too difficult to um, pick up the stitches or to start knitting in the first round or the first row. Um, so you will have two, the yarn connected on both sides to that stitch. On the left hand side is the tail end or the end of the yarn. On the right hand side is where you have the ball of the yarn. So you um, continue to hold the, the needle in your right hand and then you're going to um, hold both the tail end and the live yarn in your other hand. So you want to have the yarn laying across your finger, put your thumb underneath that and twist it around so that now that the yarn is wrapped in behind your thumb, like so. So again, yarn's in your hand, twist it around and you've got it on your thumb like this. Then what I do is I take the, um, the live yarn and I wrap it around my index finger and also hold. So I'm keeping the tension on both of the strands of yarn um, with my other, other two fingers. And you want to have, not super tight, but you do want to have a bit, of, a bit of tension there. Then what you do is you take the needle, you go around and under the yarn, over to the live yarn, wrap around from the right underneath, and then you pull it through um, this window here and then gently tighten it and again that you tighten it from side to side that way you see we've got like a nice uh, a nice little stitch on the right hand side so we'll do that again so you want to grab the yarn underneath your thumb the live yarn over here with this finger and then you take the knitting needle go under over and back through the opening. And then again, tighten for another stitch. One more time. So you've got the yarn again. See, I have both strands of yarn, keeping them tight with these fingers. Um, and you go around underneath from the left, over to the live yarn, underneath from the right, and then pull it through the little opening that you've made here. And then again, Pull it tight and then you see you've got some nice some nice loose stitches here um, that was our first slip stitch and then the other three cast on stitches and that's how you do a long tail cast on